Hey Divas, it's me again. Okay, let me show you. I have five cards that I've done. I have two more in the works, but I wanted to get these ones done because they're, a couple of them are going out, so I wanted to make sure I um, put these up first. Okay, so these are working. Uh, these are on the policy envelopes by Ula La, uh, Vintage Treasures. This is their policy envelope template, and I absolutely love, love, love this template, so I use it often. So I just lined the inside, and I have the inserts to go in, and I do a slide amount. It's just purely meant there will be no decorations. It's just meant for writing. All the decoration will be on the top part of this envelope. So I busted out some hoarding trim. Yes, I did it. And this is my new MFT banner die. I was very excited. I'm a, I was a virgin to the MFT world, and I got a couple of their dies, and um, there's a couple more that I would love to have, so I'll be working on it. And then this is a flower that I made from my punches. And this is some Michael's sprays right here that I just cut in pieces and I put them in sporadic different areas and a couple leaves, recollections, Prima roses. And then I just hung them on some um, string that you get on your tags when you buy tags. So I just put them on there. Actually, all I did was hot glue gun the very top part onto the string. So it's not like it's wrapped around the string. And then just a couple of flowers that I glimmer misted and some bling. And then I have, this is like a trim back here, and it's like a wired trim. It's super cute. I love it. Couldn't tell you where I got it. But this is one card. These are B-Day cards. Okay. Then I have this one. This is the other MFT die that I bought. Oh, I love, love, love this one. Arlene got me so hooked on it because she uses this a lot on her cards, and they're just fabulous. So I have some of this trim, ruffled trim, and then some of this embroidered type trim. And then just a little tag that says celebrate and some little flower. Um, it's actually a trim, a flower trim all at once, and I just cut them individually. And then this right here is Tim Coffey's die cuts. One's layered on top of this one, so they're dimensional. And then I just put a couple of uh, flat backs on there. And then this is a loopy flower that I made. And I love it because it has all these little wires shooting out of it. Of course, you probably can't see it. My camera's not super fab either. But it's a loopy flower all the way through. So, super fun. Okay. And then this also, too, I haven't put the insert in it yet. This is just the back part. Okay. So none of these will have the inserts yet. Okay, then I have this one. And then this trim right here, I use like three different glimmer mists, so there's different shades on this trim. It's like a yellow, a peach, and a very light type of brown that you see more here. But it's sporadically different throughout the trim. I didn't want it to be just one color. Just to pop out these type different colors on these um, dragonfly's wings. And then I have a white trim at the bottom. This right here is... Um, I forgot who is, if that's part of Tim Coffee's or not. I've been hoarding on these because I absolutely love, love, love these. It's a little acetate dragonfly. And of course that's spellbinder, some more little branch trim. And then I just used a little bit of flowers and I just shoved them in there. That saw crafters flat back pearl. A little vintage button. And then right here is um, some a little piece of trim that I had left over from my previous card, so I just put it behind here. And I layered these flowers. These are flowers that I've had in my stash that I don't ever use, so it's not a matter of hoarding. I just have them in a box and I'm like, eh, wasn't feeling it. So I started to get out stuff that I normally don't use that just sits there. And then I made this cabbage flower, little bling in the middle. So this is another card. And here's another one. This right here was given to me by Fiona, and this also right here is where I purchased from Elizabeth from Betty Bomb Bomb. And these right here, little rosettes, are from Michael's, the little dollar fifty little spot. And this was my last little rosette that I had <laughs> that I made for my previous that my project that I worked on before the record one. This was the last one. And then these are some Prima um, velvet leaves. And then I just put some stringed, um, pink string type jute in the back, right here. 
I got this idea from Marlene. I love it when she does that. She usually puts some jute behind stuff and has it like all just, I don't know how to explain it, but just kind of like messy in the back, and I love it. And this right here, of course, we know that's Martha Stewart's punches. I have some um, pearl, uh, liquid pearls, MFT dye, K and Company little tag, and a couple of butterflies. And then this one is my last card, my favorite. Absolutely love the colors. And of course, some trim. Then I got this from um, Two Crafty Chicks, I believe is their name. I'm sorry if I messed it up. And um, so I got some of their, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of it. But I know <laughs> everybody's going to know that Carla's 001. She carries this stuff too. I can't even think of the name. Burlap. <laughs> trim and I love it. I've never tried it before and I absolutely love it. And then just a flower with a flat back and a banner it says B Day. And I believe these are Tim um not Tim Holtz, I'm sorry. Um Tim Coffees. I love, love, love them. So it's just an acetate butterfly and that's a stick pin that I made. Then this right here is just some tool that I put behind the flowers that I layered. Some more flowers that I tend to not use that were sitting in there because of the silk flowers and I have a whole box of them so I'm like you know I'm gonna start dipping in hoard box start hip you know dipping in my other box of stuff that you know we collect stuff and you fall out of love well we need to fall back into love because I have a ton of them so start intermixing them and that's this one so it's just nothing uh, and that's just the backing you no know, inside again so these are my cards that I've made. I have two more policy cards that I'm working on and I've had these sitting to do so I have to do these before I do my Christmas ones and those will be next. Okay ladies so that's it. Those are my card show for today and then um, I'll be back with a couple other things um, that, I'll, uh, that I'm working on right now. Okay thank you guys so much for stopping by. You guys are super awesome and you guys have a super fab day. Mucho hugs ladies.